Hi guys, welcome to our introduction to Frankenstein, the graphic novel. Our desired result is to understand how a literary text is adapted into another medium. At the end of this lesson, you'll have some background knowledge of the structure of Frankenstein's graphic novel in preparation for reading it. So Frankenstein's structure is basically a story within a story, which is also known as a frame story. The story starts with a series of letters from Robert Walton, a ship's captain, to his sister. On his voyage to the North Pole, Robert Walton finds Victor Frankenstein and brings him aboard his ship. Victor Frankenstein tells the story of himself and the creature Walton. This starts on page 12 of the graphic novel. He starts by talking about his childhood and his education. He then goes on to talk about creating the creature or monster and the events that follow. The novel ends back at Robert Walton's ship and Frankenstein has finished telling his story. Shortly after, he dies and Walton meets the creature. So for this week, we're going to be reading the graphic novel of Frankenstein. Um, and we're going to take notes of how the texts and images are used to tell the story. Um, we're going to compare and contrast what you know of the novel Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. So in one of your um, questions in this assignment was, what, um, like, what do you think when you think of Frankenstein? And I know a lot of people said like that green creature with the bolts coming out of its neck that kind of walks with its hand straight out, or you thought of some type of, um, movie or show where he's been recreated in it. So he's been adapted as another character. So how is a literary text adapted into another medium is our desired result. And at the end of this lesson, you'll have some background knowledge of the structure of the Frankenstein graphic novels and preparing for reading it. Thanks.